Hey guys, Fiv here, and I'm doing my second tutorial of the day, and that is going to be for a bad TV, little sync look, little thing, you know, like for glitch hop. That's a uh, getting quite popular now, so I thought I would make a little tutorial for that. This is a extremely easy, simple way of doing it. There are plenty of other ways of doing it, but this is, this is the extremely simple, easy way of doing it in Sony Vegas. Okay, so, if you sync your, your glitch hop to this little, or to the, what it's called as a bad TV sync, or bad sync from a TV, uh, then you want, so you'd want a separate part to be, let's just say glitched glitched out or something okay so if I wanted a full second to be glitched out I would go over here to where it says nine seconds and then go all the way to over here where it says ten seconds and split both of those so you have two things split like that now one thing you can do is if you have if it if you have audio linked to that but you want to uh, keep the audio zoom in a little bit with the mouse and drag these fades off like so delete the fades so it doesn't fade through the audio while it's playing and then it'll sound weird so just do that so now you have this isolated clip that you're going to have be uh... have that effect applied so just go down to video effects and scroll down to TV simulator and two things you can do is TV look and a bad sync. The bad sync is like where it gets all glitchy and goes like looks like that. So that I wouldn't do for the entire thing, but if you wanted you could put apply a TV look like that to the normal thing and then just have it glitch out every once in a while. And you know, come back. But I actually don't like the TV look, so I'm going to remove that. But for this, there's many uh, options you can mess with. Like the detail zoom. Like how much it zooms in when uh, when you when you bring it up, that's the more it zooms in onto the uh, actual thing. If you zoom out, like just to one, it'll keep it at a the scale or the ratio of one to one so it'll leave the thing not stretched not zoomed in you know like that the aperture grill is how much light it'll let in and how much see see how if you make the higher grill that's how visible this black grill is I don't I, I'm not a fan of that but I like to keep it around stock I think which is like point or point two five or something like that Interlacing is how much it, obviously, it's how much it's interlaced. See, like, the less, the clearer it is, the more, the less clear it is. That's kind of the horizontal lines. The line sync is how much in sync the lines are. See, if it's at one, that means it's completely in sync. So, like, it would just be going up and down like that. You don't really want that, because then you could actually tell what's going on and it looks too weird so about four to five is good for that or point four to point five is good for that vertical sync that's just how well synced the uh, actual like in place it is rather than going up and down if you want it to be like this it'll keep just going up and down like that and the more the more value you add to it the less it'll go up and down because the more in sync it will be so at one it will be perfectly in sync and not move up and down I don't think and at zero it will move quite a lot so let's keep that at point three eight something like that point four yeah scan phasing that's see that bright thing that's how much how often it phases and how bright and where it's going to be see how that little like bright spot it looks good up there, so. And then phosphorescence is basically how bright and how, like, I don't know how to explain it. 
the light coming off of what would be like the TV is basically what this is. So one would mean it's the max value for phosphorescence. Zero would mean zero light coming from the TV like that. So it would be clear, but it still be have it would still have this uh, bad sync. But if you add a little bit, you can kind of tell, and it looks looks a lot better. Four is good. Static, obviously, self-explanatory. Static. Hundred is just hundred percent static. I don't like adding static hardly at, at all because it ruins it. I feel like, but yeah, that's how you do the the glitch effect. So if it goes, and if it only goes for just a little bit, let's say I just wanted it from here to like here, just drag your bad sync. And if you mess with the settings and stuff, you just type in the box, whatever you want to save it, like tutorial, and oops, that was with one hand. Tutorial, and just click save right here. But I'm not going to. But yeah, that's basically what you do. It's quite easy and it looks pretty decent. Alright, thank you for watching and this has been Fictive. Peace.